Love Light Balance Kings and Queens. I'm Cree, and you're now in my kitchen. Today we're going to be making fish tikka masala, okay? So, what I was explaining was there's two parts, okay? So you have your marinade part and you also have your sauce part. So for your marinade, you're going to need your chunks, your chunks of salmon already cut. You're going to also need one cup of plain yogurt or one cup of sour cream. I tried it both ways. They both work perfectly. You're going to need half of a lemon squeeze. You're also going to need salt and you're also going to need your gram masala. So with the gram masala, you're going to need about two to three teaspoons of your gram masala. You're going to let your marinate. If you're in a rush, you're going to let it marinate in at least 15 minutes, but it's best that you marinate things overnight. Okay. So this is what is in this pan. Now, I cooked it in a pan. I cooked it in a pie. It doesn't matter, okay? So what you're going to do, you're going to grease your pan with vegetable oil, any type of neutral oil, your classic olive oil or your um, canola oil, um, extra virgin olive oil. I prefer not to do that because, you know, extra virgin olive oil kind of burns fast. So vegetable oil is what we're using right now. So basically, I'm just, um, you know, cooking this until it's brown, okay? You're gonna cook your salmon until your salmon has brown on all sides, all right? We're gonna also use the rest of this marinade in our, um, our sauce, okay? And speaking of the sauce, let me go ahead and tell you what you guys need for your sauce. You're gonna need one large can of tomato puree, you're going to need half a can, I opened it up on the wrong side you guys, but you're going to need half a can of tomato paste. And I tried it the original way where you're using the actual tomato diced with the um, tomato puree. And what happens is the sauce takes a lot longer to cook. I mean the sauce already takes long enough to cook. It takes about 25, um, 20 to 25 minutes for the sauce to cook so that the sauce can thick it up. So that's the reason why I'm adding the tomato paste instead of the diced tomato with the tomato puree, okay? You're going to also need your minced garlic. You're going to also need your minced ginger. One second, you guys. Let me get this salmon flipped over. You know, it don't, it don't take long to cook salmon. It smells so good. Woo! It looks so good. Smells so good. That means it's gonna be good, okay? My salmon really quick, you guys, and then I continue. Um, I'm gonna continue telling you guys about the, the ingredients for the sauce, okay? All right. So back to what I was telling you guys about the sauce. You're gonna also need um mint um. Ginger, you're gonna need some heavy cream, you're gonna need some butter, um, you're gonna need turmeric, chili powder, ground coriander, you're gonna need um, cumin powder, or my ground cumin, and you're also gonna need your gram masala seasoning, okay? This is the brand that I use. You can get this at Kroger, okay? And salt to taste, so that's pretty much what you're gonna need, okay? And, um, oh, and two medium sized diced onions, all right? So I'm also cooking my um, fish tikka masala with human rice, and the rice that I'm using is basari. Basari, basari. I think that's how y'all say it. No? Basmati, I'm sorry. 
basmati rice. But um, I also used jasmine rice before, so you can use jasmine rice too. But today I have basmati rice. And basically what you do with this rice, you rinse it two times and then you let it soak. I, um, I, let, I let it soak about um, 10 to 15 minutes so that it can um, expand the rice, okay? And I also put a dash of salt and I also put about a, table, a tablespoon or two of oil too, okay? So while that's soaking and while I'm cooking this, I'm going to also be cooking the cumin rice as well. Because it doesn't take that long to cook rice at all. You basically get steaming rice. Let me get my bowl real quick together. For the salmon. You know, so I'm going to take it on the cook, so. Oh, it smells so good. Oh, my goodness. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. like for mine to have brown marks on both sides, okay, so that's how I like it for my side to be, especially when I make it this good here. Rice started, you guys. What you're gonna do is you're gonna bring your water to a bowl. I got uh, three and a half cups of rice. That's my rice. I got it right that time, you guys. Okay, so once my rice has come to a boil. My rice has come to a boil, then that's when you turn it down and just let it steam, okay? And this is what I mean when I say that I like my salmon brown. So, it'll be brown like that, you understand me? Let me turn my heat down. I love salmon. You talking about like a really like sexy dish? Like you trying to impress somebody, date might, you know, you might come on do like, yo, let me cook you dinner. This is the dinner that you need to cook. I'm telling you, they're gonna be so impressed. I mean, it's so easy to do. And you're gonna be like, yeah, honey. It might be more than Netflix and chill, you understand what I'm saying? Wink wink. <laughs> After they eat this here, I'm telling you. Mess around, I might try to marry you, girl. Oh boy. I do not try to marry you, just never. Nothing too serious. <laughs> All right. Oh my goodness, yes, my fish is coming out so yummy. Oh, look at that. You see that round crust on that meat like that? Beautiful. You know, you know how it is when you're cooking with a big pot, you know, it's hot on one end of the pot and the other pot is not as hot, so some pieces still need to get brown, you know. Try not to cook your salmon too long, you're gonna mess around with that fried salmon. You don't want that. Overcooked salmon, so the worst.
you know your sauce is done when you just kind of press it a little bit and it's kind of firm. It don't have too much bounce back because if it has too much bounce back, that means it's still raw. You don't give me one to serve nobody raw food. You feel what I'm saying? Who does that? All right, you guys. My rice is now come to a boil, so I'm going to just go ahead on and turn it down to not low, but um, on my stove to like a a low medium. Okay. And you know your rice is done once the, once the water is already. Um, boil out of that. All right. And all that little uh, bits at the bottom, keep that for the sauce and anything to add on to that sauce, I'm telling you. The sauce is boss and it's, um, in this dish. Keep that brown a little bit longer. Right there. How y'all feeling though? I hope you guys have an amazing weekend. My weekend was awesome. You know, I be drawing or whatever. <laughs> Those that follow me on my Facebook, you guys know that I be drawing or whatever. Some people on my Instagram know that I draw too. I just picked that habit up uh, during quarantine, so. Practice makes perfect. All right, my fish is done. Let me get my... Um, can open it out. Mm -hmm. Let me go ahead on and add these on y'all. Okay, so this is two medium size cut dice of onions, okay? until it's, um, your onions is kind of like transparent and then to that we're going to add our um, garlic and we're going to add our minced ginger okay then once we merge those ingredients together then that's when we want to put in our seasonings okay You can kind of cook your seasonings before you add in the tomato, um, the tomato proportion of the of the dish. All right, just wiping my little station off. You know, when the grease got to pop, and I mean, they got to pop. You understand me? our ginger same amount of ginger well less 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 I'm sorry less so that's one and I have a tablespoon of minced ginger
You're going to need two tablespoons of butter. Yes, this, this um, sauce is real rich, you guys. It's so good, though. Alright you guys, so now we're going to be adding our seasoning, so pay attention, okay, to the seasoning. You're going to need a one and a half teaspoon of brown coriander seasoning. You're going to need one and a half teaspoon of brown cumin. You're going to need one to two um, teaspoons of gram masala. Um, I don't use too much of the, um, the gram masala because I already used it in my marinade. So I'm just going to be using one um, teaspoon, teaspoon, okay? You're going to need um, one and a half teaspoons of cumin. I mean, I already said cumin, turmeric. And then you're going to need a half um, teaspoon of chili powder. But if you like me, you need a little fireball, you might want to step it up to um, one um, teaspoon. Or you can do one and a half teaspoon if you want to step it all the way up there like that. I don't want it too spicy, you know what I mean? So, go ahead and add that. And basically, we're going to cook our seasonings, okay? So, open it up and get it all fresh and, you know, in there real good. It smells so good in here, you guys. in at the end because um I want to see how things go how it tastes with the um with everything because I already had fried my fish in there and you know, my my um, my fish had salt in it already so I don't want to make the salt too salty but I'll salt to taste basically what I'm trying to say in a nutshell salt to taste okay I'm going to wash my hands, you guys. I had to throw that tomato paste pan with salt in, in the trash can. All right. So you go ahead and add your tomato puree. Yes, get all of it, okay? You paid for this can and get all that salt out. Yes. Yes. Sometimes I even sprinkle a little water in there, shush, 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 and dump. You sure do. Waste nothing, honey. No, we don't waste anything. Okay, let's do this. We're going to go ahead on and put the rest of that marinade up in here like that. Yes, I told you, we waste nothing. Oh, also in the marinade too, I forgot to tell you guys to put um, ginger in there too. So, make sure you put your ginger. Anytime um, with this recipe, if there's garlic, there will be ginger. So, they go hand in hand. Oh, I'm going to go ahead and turn my feet down because I don't want that tomato paste 
to be popping everywhere. You know what it is, something about tomato sauce, it will get on you, man. Especially with me wearing this yellow, it's like soft. You know when you wear light colors, it gets on you, okay? It does. When you making spaghetti, it gets on you. When you eating a taco with a sauce, it gets on you. I mean, when you eating nachos, it gets on you. Sauce will get on you when you wearing light clothes, okay? Well, it does for me anyway. Well, anyway, I'm going to go ahead and add the other half of my um, tomato paste. And this is just to um, help it thicken faster because this sauce needs to be thickened. It needs to be thick. It doesn't need to be watery like tomato soup, okay? If your sauce like tomato soup, you're doing it wrong. Okay? Just say. No watery uh, sauce. It has to be really thick, so I use tomato paste to help me, you know, give it a little boost. Thickness. Okay. Alright, so now that that's that, and that's in there, and everything is going and grooving, we're going to go ahead on and add our one cup of cream and now if you don't have cream you can also do half and half i did half and half for it in this recipe and that worked just as fine so just fine worked just fine but today i got cream so put that heavy cream in there and this is pretty much your sauce you know and then you're just gonna let it thicken up it's gonna turn into a a, a, a nice burnt orange color once everything has thickened up really really well and it's just gonna be amazing okay so once your sauce has thickened up then that's when you're gonna add in your meat of choice now you can do uh, chicken but today we're doing fish which is salmon okay so once your sauce is thickened up then that's when you're gonna add your um your salmon in the sauce and you know we're gonna merge the sauce on the meat and it's just gonna be mm, 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 mm. it's gonna be so yummy i need to find my wooden um spoon because i don't like the way it sound when i stir it we have to keep an eye on this sauce too because you know this is one of them them sauces that you have to keep an eye on like if not it's not going you know, it, 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 it'll end up burning at the bottom. Your, your tomato paste will end up burning at the bottom. You don't want that. It will have that burnt taste. You know what I'm saying? You don't want that burnt taste. <laughs> All right. So my rice is almost done, you guys. It is beautiful, beautiful rice. Okay, let me taste. Yeah. My rice is done. Let me take that off that heat. See how pretty and fluffy this rice is. Mm, 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 mm. Oh, how mercy. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead on and put some butter in this rice. Yes. Get my butter knife. I'm going to go ahead on and put about two tablespoons of butter in this rice. Go ahead and put in my cumin. Hence cumin rice. I mean, what's cumin rice without cumin, right? Put a little butter melt in there. Do not stir your rice, you guys. Fluff your rice, okay? Fluff it. Don't don't get in there and just stir. No, fluff your rice, okay? We fluff things around here, all right? You do not need to add salt or anything to the rice, nothing, because I already put salt in it earlier. Just a little, you know, um, a little dash or two will do when you're soaking the rice, because I pre-soaked this rice. My smarty rice, pre-soaked it for about 10 to 15 minutes. All right. And that's pretty much it as far as cumin and rice. Um, oops. 
fluff it. So we're fluffing the cumin in the rice, okay? Okay, and I'm going to add some cilantro to um, the rice for that little earthiness. It already tastes kind of like earthy because of the cumin, but it really tastes like earthiness with that cilantro in there. All right, you guys, and that is how I make my cumin rice. Yay, we did it. You did it. We did it together. All right, so this is how the rice look, you guys, with everything in it. You see? Nice, fluffy rice. Done. Bada bing, bada boom. Okay, let me get another spoon, you guys, because I don't like that noise scraping like that. Okay? So basically, you're going to watch this, you know? This, this sauce, like it's pure gold that you found somewhere in Egypt. You know what I'm saying? That's how closely you want to watch this and mind this because if not, it's going to be effed up. And bada boom, because that's going to take a minute. TV magic, sauce is made. Show you. Wow, look at that. Look at that. That's that TV magic, baby. Okay, so you see how the sauce is thick compared to this? It's watery, thick, watery, thick, watery. <laughs> Okay, so you want your sauce to look like this, nice and thick, and um, because this is for the chickpea, I'm going to go ahead and act like the chickpea is my meat, and I'm going to go ahead on and put it on up in here, like so, like that. And now we're gonna cook this chickpea too as well. So look, 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 look what you guys get on Creed's Kitchen today. Getting a two for two. Okay. You're getting a two for two meal. Okay, so I'm gonna cover this back up, you guys, and cook this chickpea and this sauce all together. Getting it, let it get, get even thicker because I um marinated the salt or marinated the chickpeas the same way that I did my salmon so that's that marinade juice needs to get thickened within this sauce you understand me all right so let me get this rice on the out of the way because that's cooked to perfection and let's cook the rest of our chickpea all right, I got rice inside my eye, you guys. I mean, y'all really down home cooking with Creed. I mean, because this is real life. Things happen, okay? Gotta get that rice out. Still in there. Okay, so let me turn this back on. Because this, this eye in the back is a little bit bigger. So let me switch it on now. And get that to cooking, yes. Mm -hmm. I hope I'm not going too fast for those that do cook along with me. If you do cook along with me, you try any of my recipes, please send um um my, me your pics to my Instagram, okay? And that's C-R-I dot kitchen. Also, um, look me up on YouTube too, okay, you guys? And that's going to be um, Cree's Kitchen. So you're going to go there, you're going to subscribe, and you're going to hit that notification bell so you know when I upload new videos, okay? Don't play. Mm, go ahead on and give one of the recipes a try. I'm telling you. 
all the recipes is good, but this one right here, mm, is yummy. Okay, I'm gonna turn my heat up a little bit, you guys. I need to get this cracked. So pretty much you just cook this down until it's thick. And then when it's thick, you add your meat. And then once you add your meat, that's too high. Then once you add your meat, and that's pretty much it. Then you plate and you eat and you, you know, be jolly. Be happy. That's pretty much it. Turn that one down too. Beautiful, beautiful burnt orange color over that right, over that white rice, and then hints of pinkness a little bit on your salmon. Ooh, it's so good. As far as like the visual effect of it all, those that eat with their eyes first, you know. Okay, so it's, it's starting to thicken a little bit. So I'm going to let this cook. I don't have a, um, a covering as big to go over this. I might have to use some aluminum foil real quick. That might have to suffice right now. Yeah, let me get some aluminum foil so I can cover this up so it won't be popping everywhere. You know how tomato sauce can be. It pops on you. Like I did something wrong, you just pop it like pop. You know how your mom used to pop your head back in the day with that wooden brush when you don't keep your head? They're like, pop, keep that head still. That's how this tomato sauce be popping on me. That out the blue pop. You know what I'm saying? I don't got time for that. But all great cooks get burnt. You know what I'm saying? What I mean? If you ain't, get, if you ain't got burnt yet in the kitchen, then you ain't been cooking long enough. That's real talk right there. I got burnt earlier today. Cooking. Something simple too. Some fries, you guys. Got burnt off fry grease. Woo! Got me. See how it's thick. See, this is done. Because I cooked this sauce right here earlier. You know, you're going to cook your sauce about 25 to um 20 to 25, no longer than 30 minutes. That's how long you're going to cook this sauce. Okay? So this is done. When it's thick like this, yes. This is complete, you guys. This is exactly what you want. This is the exact consistency that you want. Let me go home. Let me go ahead on and ravel down with this real quick with some parsley and my um some parsley flakes. You know, because parsley make everything look sexy. I don't care what nobody say. I always put parsley on everything. Don't worry about that little jiggle. You know what I'm saying right there. I'm working on it. Okay, don't judge me. All right. That's that quarantine weight. Blame it on the quarantine. Y'all don't want to be exercising like that. <laughs> We're going to blame it on the quarantine right now, though. <laughs> ah. I'm trying to find my cilantro. Okay. And then add that cilantro flakes, too. Let me go ahead and turn this off. Cause like I said, this is done, honey. Yes, this is done. Take that off because I don't got time for it to pop on me. Like I did something wrong. I mean, I want to be friends. Okay? I don't want to keep keep getting hit. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead on and plate the chickpea one. 
Because, you know, we got some vegetarians in the house. Ooh, ooh. What it do, vegetarian? Okay. Now I was gonna do some um some non bread, but I was like, I'm doing too much, you guys. I have to do that on a separate video, and it's probably going to be straight to YouTube. So, again, make sure that you follow my YouTube channel. That's Creed's Kitchen on YouTube. Also, subscribe to the channel already if you have not. Also, click that notification bell. Ring my bell, okay? Ring my bell. Ring that bell. That's right. Ring that notification bell so you know when I upload new videos. Follow me on IG. That's C R I dot kitchen. Get your life. Tell your grandma, your grandpa, your cousin, your first, second, all the way down to your 20th cousin about Cree's Kitchen. Okay, your best friend, your entanglement. <laughs> Go ahead on and tell them about Cree's Kitchen on IG. That's C R I dot kitchen. Okay, and here it is. Tita Masala Chickpea version, okay? Because my fish version is still cooking, but we got a chickpea version for the vegetarians, all right? It's the same thing, okay? Dang. Everybody want everybody to be perfect, all right? I'm not perfect, but I'm perfect for me. So anyway, here it is. Get you a spoon and eat up. I'm going to eat. I'll see you next time. Peace. You guys know I love you. Peace.